Next, I'm going to look at some of the features available using the analog signal. I can look at my live analog signal by collecting analog I.O. As you can see, I have in one input and one output. The input is going to be a 0 to 10 volt range or negative 10 to positive 10. I have a potentiometer connected to this. As you can see, as I rotate the potentiometer, my value goes up or down, depending on what direction I'm going. And this analog signal can be used three different ways. I can do an analog to position, analog to velocity, or analog torque. So based off my analog to position, I can say at a certain analog command, I'm going to go either go to a certain position. This example I have it set up as my minimum position or zero volt signal from analog reference, I'm going to go zero revs. My 10 volt signal from my potentiometer is going to give me six revs. And I'm going to go velocity of 200. Alternatively, I can have an analog signal go to a certain velocity as well as have this do an analog torque value. So based off my zero to 10 volt signal, I can specify how much torque I want this thing to provide.